Now this one I had a lot of fun with. So I learned about something called um, the public domain. And so there's movies, there's art, there, there's a whole bunch of um, creative things that are now in the public domain that you can use um, in any creative way possible. So in no way am I claiming that the original images, you know, that I did them. This is, um, this book is based on the original Dracula movie, which I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun putting this book together. And if, and if anybody is a fan of um, old black and white movies or horror movies, um, so this one is the 1931 Dracula movie. So what I did was I took image stills from the, the movie and turned them into coloring pages, which is a lot trickier than you may think. And then what I also did was I put quotes from the movie on the page. I thought it would actually be a really cool companion, like if, if you're a fan of Halloween or not even Halloween, there's a lot of people that watch Dracula movies and vampire movies and shows all year round. Um, but to kind of, you could color this while watching the movie. And then I, I had, like added these blood splatters and uh, refined all the images so that they were easier to color. The rosary. So it's different than grayscale because they're pretty much just black and white. Some of the splatters, grayscale, here's Dracula. I thought it was a cool concept. You'll have to let me know what you think about it. I know we're going to be having some fun with this book this month. We're a big Halloween house. And then it's kind of like a storybook with the, with the quotes. Shocked, shocking. Oh. Renfield, he's a crazy dude. <laughs> and she was so pretty. This would be a cool book for anyone. I always leave a couple pages in the back um, to test any anything you're using. Yeah, here are some pages on the back. So there's a total of 15 images, all clips from the movie. So I hope I hope you guys let, let me know what you think about that idea. Like there's a bunch of movies out there I could do this with, and I had a lot of fun. I think it's what I think is so cool about doing stuff like this is if it wasn't for this, there'd be a lot of people that would, um, you know, the way technology is and everything else, there's a lot of people that would never watch the original Dracula movie or know anything about it. And I may not know as much about it as I do now, to be completely honest. Thanks for checking out this flip through of Dracula. And please make sure to subscribe to the channel and check out our Facebook group, Color Addicts.